According to my case files, one of the old refineries has engineers working overtime on something called PG-240X. PG-240 is the poison they spray on tobacco leaves in the west to make Viviro. My guess is that PG-240X is what they dropped on us at the hotel. So we are going to fuck up McKay's operation by destroying that old refinery from the inside. I sent Lucky Mama and a small team to secure the perimeter. They are waiting for you. Once you get inside the place, talk me through what you see. We'll figure out how to get it offline. Muy bien. Out of the team, you're on your way. Fucking stinks here. How did my team do? Looks like they secured the perimeter. Elena told us to hold the position for you. These abuelas are cold bloody. They kill the soldados like it was nothing. We rig the doors to blow. You can trigger them if you want. and boxes. Anything else? Yeah, they're all marked as PG-240X. Get down to the basement. The blueprint saves there's a ton of electrical work down there. Like this is where Mackay's people are making the chemical weapons, the bombs. Pinga, we have to fuck this shit up now. Connect me to any computer you see. I'll overload it. On it, Yelena. thing just to stop one part of my business i'll rebuild and by the way you're causing a huge environmental disaster i thought you kids love the environment you're all gonna die i mean why did you volunteer for this it's got suicide mission written all over it
thought you were dead. This shit has been really entertaining to watch. Seriously. Now, if you don't mind, I'm gonna call out my boy Anton for more soldados because you gorijas are really starting to piss in my lemonade. <laughs> the same thing. More alike than you think. Moving the bug on. How about the fact that we just completely destroyed Castillo's ability to make chemical weapons? This is a huge blow to the regime. So they can't make any more of the bombs they dropped on us at the hotel. All that's left is Always another target. If you don't mind, I'm gonna just enjoy breathing for a minute. When I was a girl, the air here used to smell like the ocean. But the foreign corporations came, poisoned everything. Back in 67, we kicked them out. For decades, you could breathe the air. Then Espinosa started to sell off our industries. Then Anton took over. He opened the door for that Yankee McKay. His operation produces the poison needed to make Viviro. And the pipeline here is a vital part of that cancer treatment. Lorenzo showed me the photographs you took of their research. Disgusting. So Yelena and I came up with a plan to cripple production of Castillo's wonder drug. Think of that Yankee's main chemical plant like a heart. And all these pipes are like arteries. Cut the arteries, and the heart goes into a catastrophic state. So follow the pipes, Danny. Destroy the substations, and you'll create a pressure overload at the plant. That's when Yelena will access their computers, and will be able to kill McKay's poison operation for good. This is a big mission, and you're not alone. <gasps> Engineer. Danny, find the control panels. You can overload the poison silos from there. Or I could just shoot them. Being a guerrilla is about precision. Sloppy work leads to too many corpses. Thank 
successful one who was hand-picked by El Cazadante to turn things around in LA. It's time for us to use what we have here with this Saviro stuff and make the rest of the world pay for it. have been a surgeon. I wouldn't go that far. Danny, I want to apologize for how I treated you when we first met. I was wrong about you. No need to apologize. I've just seen enough blood to last three lifetimes. And enough guerrillas who enjoyed spilling it. When you showed up, you had trouble written all over you. But El Tigre... He always knew a true guerrilla at first glance. He told me if anyone could save Yara, it was you. Just thought you should know. Libertad could use you, Lucky. Get out of here. Clara could learn a lot from you. Libertad, la morale, just a club, Danny. I fight for Yara, no one else. from me. Better watch my step. Binga.
A copy. Telling me this. Because you remind me of Lobo. You might be a hero now. You might think you would never betray Yara. But once you're on the throne, it will change you. I have no desire to rule Yara, Lucky. Just know that if I must, I won't hesitate to pull that trigger. Just like El Tigre. He was the real legend of 67. And he never forgave himself for it. Sneaky. pressure at the plant, I can now do this. Do what, Yelena? Holy shit! Loki, did you hear that? All of Yara heard that. Time for phase two. Get to the plant. Just follow the smoke. <laughs> Oh. 
Loki, I'm at the plant. <laughs> Everyone's shitting themselves. Thanks to you. Engineers are trying to repair the chemical basins. Find the control room, Danny. Elena's waiting to be patched into the computers. Once we have access... Heart attack. Got it. Oh.
have been to. All we needed was a little lock. Danny, you're not going to 
going to believe it, but before we hit McKay at the port, I got a special request from Clara, and she's got a point. Didn't see that coming. We have an opportunity to do something bigger. If we destroy Castillo's oil reserves in El Este right now, it will choke his army of fuel across the island. I like the sound of that. Go hit the big red tanks all over La Jolla. Our guerrillas will help you. I sent them pics of what to target. Gracias, comadre. Look out for flames. of Castillo's speeches? No, I'm serious. My great-grandparents had a brutal They left one country to go to another and made something of themselves. They passed that wealth on to the next generation. My parents. They built on it. They gave it to me. So you want me to move? <sighs> well, that would solve my immediate problems, but no, no. You can stay in Yara, but Castillo wants a change here. He does. I talk to him every day. He wants it as fast as you do. Sometimes it is better to swim with the current than to go against it. So I should just accept the arrests? The outcast system? The executions? Every modern country in the history of the world has dark days. Only difference now is that everybody can film it and stream it and try to get the world pissed off about it. Even in my country, Canada, go look up what they did to the indigenous folks and the fracking Jesus Murphy. But hey, nobody is perfect. Talk all you want. You are nothing but a fucking invader. Ah, keep trying to be a badass. See where that gets you a couple generations from now. Think about what I said. We're hitting the silos at the refinery. You coming? I got you. That Yankee paid for what he did to us. And end Castillo's rule over El Este. We're okay!
Say hello. Look, backpack. If it's just you coming to see me, let's talk the situation over. I'll be unarmed. I won't.
How's it going there, backpack? Listen, I'm running late, so... Mierda. McKay wasn't there. The office was a fucking trap. Coño, that intel came from a fucking traitor. If I know anything about foreign invaders, they have one idea in their head if they're losing. McKay has to be on one of those chips. You called it lucky. Yelena, if the Yankee was on that ship, he's a dead man. He wasn't. McKay's on the one further out. For this time? This intel comes from one of Gilberto's people. She's on that ship and has a visual on him. On my way. Gilberto will get on the line. Clearly one. 
One, backpack's here. Danny, the situation has changed. Don't want to hear it right now, Juan. See, si, see, si, he's a skin tag on a weasel's asshole. Well. But we just made a deal. McKay is offering us a fuck ton of cash if we let him go. We're talking real dinero, Danny. No way Clara's good with this. I'll deal with Clara. You and I both know the real war starts the first minute Castillo dies. And you can't win that fight without cash, trust me. We've been doing pretty good with bullets. Leave him alone and head back to the port. I'm on my way there now. It's time to celebrate. We won! Go on, backpack. Go, go. Join the fiesta back on the mainland. I'm sure they're going to have a piñata set up and everything for you. I'm thinking. El este para siempre, Dani. Y Elena. You want me to believe McKay just floated away? Libertad deserves you. Let's hear it for Dani. You should say something. I've given enough speeches. Then I think it's only appropriate You've that I You've had your time, stuff. Lorenzo. Hmm? Lucky. <laughs> Today, for the first time in my life, I actually feel lucky. When I look into the eyes of your generation, I see the same fire, the same passion, the same hope I used to see in mine. Together, we have the chance to create something new. It's your turn. Let's make this Yara's last war. La Moral, Legends of 67. Bienvenidos al este, Clara. Welcome to Libertad. Gracias, but no. La Moral's good on its own. Is that right? We'll help you kill Castillo. But we'll also keep an eye on Libertad. You want me to trust this wrinkled up abuelo to fix our yara? No. We fight. We don't follow. I like this one. That's two of us. Si una esperanza. Vale. <laughs> <laughs> I know there are many who speak of the old Revolution of 67 like a dream. That these murderers were heroes. They will destroy your future, just as they did my father's. When I look into your eyes, I see lions. Libertad. La moral. Murderers of 67. These are lies. The truth? They are all known by the same name. Terrorista. I have a vision. To rebuild paradise. But these terroristas have made sure the cost of paradise will be blood. Let this be Yara's last revolution. Let us claim victory to the lions! Coño. Wish you two were here. Now where is this party at? Batter off. sure it was the right one. What matters is you're making a difference. McKay got to cut a lifeline for the regime. But we can't march on Esperanza without the Monteros and the Legends. With their help, we can free Yara and put Castillo in the ground. Viva Libertad. 